film prep. It's stressful. Thank you. Okay. Good? All right. So we're going to be making a phase, ba phase box. So it's just a simple enclosure which you can use to house uh, a number of different things that are small. Um, for instance, uh, case objects, small albums, or larger albums, um, postcards, other loose documents, whatever, keeping them together. Okay, so I'm starting with the piece of board that we've pre-measured to be the same, uh, the proper size, and we're using one millimeter folder stock to do so. So I've done the measurements already, so I'm just going to transfer them over to this uh, piece of board. dimension. Turn it around. Perfect. So now we have our shape bit more complicated than the four flap if you saw that in the previous video. So hold it up for everybody to see. And like before, I will throw out the pieces of board that I don't need. So I mean put X's on them so we know know which ones we will get rid of. Just a lot of X's. Now you can either cut first or you can score. To make life easy, I'll just score now. And again, it doesn't matter if you cut over a line that you've already scored. So essentially, I'm just going to be scoring over all the lines. And if you just tuned in, it's pending. We're using our bone folder to score the lines. It's a tool you can buy from pretty much every good craft store. We're just holding like a pencil. We're going over the lines that we want to fold and it will help make a clean fold. And now, really you can't see much, but if you run your finger really gently over the paper surface, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you, extra hand, that uh, you, can, you can actually feel the um, where you've uh, scored the board. Okay, now we cut. I mean, if you feel more confident cutting each piece out individually, especially when you're starting, I understand. But I've done this a couple of times. So I'm just going to cut quickly. What's exciting is once you start cutting is that your final enclosure will start to appear. Now you have your shape that pops out. So we can take your bone folder and just go over all your folds. The other thing I like to do, if you make a very specific uh, enclosure for your object and it has to go a certain way, is that I like to actually mark the orientation that you need to put the object back into the enclosure. So I'll just show you. So let's say for this one. If your object goes in this direction, it will inform the user of which way to put it in. So all I've done is just put some, some markation here. Wait, don't pause it. So, the other thing that I want to do is once it's done, it will just fold together very simply. However, I mean, it will kind of stay on its own, but 
it would be nicer if it had a little bit of help. So similar to what we did with the spacer, I'm going to put a tab in this enclosure, okay? So I know I want it to close it. It really doesn't matter if you want it to close this way or this way. Either is fine. So in this case, I'll make it close with the wider tab. Again, no matter. So just like before, I'm gonna draw a tab about a third of the way down. Okay. And I will trim. Because they're just little cuts, don't need the ruler here. You can, again, it depends how precise you wanna be. Again, just like before, we're going to take our pencil, hold your enclosure tight together. And you're just gonna put a little dot or a little L where your tab meets on the board underneath. Now, because this is just a thin piece of board, we only need to do one straight cut. Don't do a wider cut or multiple passes or else it will have trouble staying closed. So I just want a nice cut. There you go. So now, turn this around. And you don't need to um, score on the inside. We don't want it to be bent. So this will just go underneath. And it just stays closed. Okay. All right. So. Yeah,